you doing today? Dirty old RC Bilsif here, eh? How's everybody doing? I got a little clip I'm gonna put in from a few days ago where I did some uh, mounting of some bearings onto the old shaft here for the old drive shaft for the Spartan, eh? I got the old bearings in today, I did already. Freaking right I did. Good old Acer Race, eh? Acer Racing bearings, boys. Freaking right. Check them out on Facebook, eh? If you're looking for some good bearings, they look like pretty good bearings to me, boys. Decent, eh? Decent little bearings they are. Freaking right. So anyways, like I showed you there in the other video, I got this thing kind of hand bombed, eh? I don't have a lathe or anything, so I just did a hand bomb job. I'm gonna make it so this is bearing. So if you have a Spartan boat and you're going through these, you don't want to spend the money on the ones with the bearings. Make your own, boys. Look at that. Bearings fit in there a little loose. So, boys. Just a little loose, eh? So, I've got a, I've got a thing for that, I do. So, we'll get the bearings in here. And then we'll, uh, we'll set them to where we need them, eh? So, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a little bit of thread Loctite, eh? Nothing major. A little red Loctitage in there just to take up the gappage, eh? Take up the old gappage, boys. Put that in there and then we'll slide a bearing in like that. And then we'll go to the other side. Give it another little Loctite like this, eh? Actually, before I Loctite this old boys, let's get this one mounted. Because I got an idea, I do. What I'm going to do here, so the bearing doesn't move around, is I'm going to spike it, I am. For a spike job. I do have a spike tool. Oh, there it is. Right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on here like this. I'm just going to give it a little... Just a little tap, eh? Nothing major. A little tap there, tap here, just like that. And now I'll make sure it's nice and square, we will. Because, you know, I don't have the exact size drill bits, boys. Not the exact sizers. So there, that one's in there. So we'll get the other one. Now what I want to do with the other one first is I want to put some never seize in the old hole I do. So my Loctite ain't going to work on this side because I'm going to have never seize all over it, boys. All over it. What the hell wouldn't I? So we'll get some never sees into the hole, as much as we can, and we'll stick the old Baron Ruski in there, and we'll give it a wipe down, so I don't get never sees all over myself. Who the hell wants never sees all over themselves, eh? So there, that one's in. So we'll give her a little tappy too, eh? A little tappy too, boys. There. And we'll flip it around. Just want to look at them, make sure they're kind of, they're in the hole straight, eh? Because you don't want them freaking crooked and cockeyed. There we go, boys. Decent, eh? So now what I'm gonna do is I don't know if I can swing you around because I haven't got a bracket for you, boys. Frig sakes. Oh, look, frig. There we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, boys, boys, is I'm gonna put this on the vise I am, like so, and I'm gonna just tap the edges I am. Just give her a rolling, boys. Just nice and easy and gentle and careful, eh? Nothing major. Just wanna roll the edges a little bit. That way the old bearing or ruski stays in. Just like that, boys. Oh, that's gonna be freaking decent. Now we'll do the other side. Just like that. Freaking right, dude. So now we'll give that a wipe off. So now that I have that in there, I'm gonna put the old prop ruski in. We'll give we'll see what happens, eh? Hey? Eh? Why wouldn't I? Now, if you wanted to just buy new ones of these, I'd buy the ones with the bearings in her, boys. That's what I would do. But if you have any old ones that are wore out, that's the way to do her. There you go, eh? Check out that. Oh, decent. Boys, that's friggin' decent. Nice and smooth. Put a little washer on the end there. The prop side, actually, I don't even need it, boys. It's got a sleeve that goes right over top where it does. Yep, sits right on the bearing. So that's gonna be sweet, man. So there we go, I turned an old output prop chap that was just dicked into something decent. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to fabricate a trailer for it, I am. Why wouldn't I? But uh, I got a big long piece of this, this stuff, eh? Look at that, boys. So I'm gonna cut out the pattern at the bottom of the trailer for now, I am. And then uh, my welder's still broken, boys, so I can't weld it, but I can get the pieces ready to weld. And if worst case scenario, I'll go borrow uh, Stevie's welder, eh? Holy birds. Look at the friggin' birds, boys. Hey, okay. look at the birds in the front. Oh, I just scared them away, hit the door. For God's sakes. Holy. They heard that? What's really going on, eh? Friggin' birds. Oh, they're coming back, boys. They're coming back. Check them out, eh? They're all just feasting on something. Oh, gone again. Friggin' birds. Why wouldn't they? Where was I? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by laying the old boat upside down here, and uh, we'll measure, do some measurements we will. Friggin' right, bro. Why wouldn't we? Oh, she's light, boys. There's no guts in her, so she's pretty light. She is. Look at the inside of that as ever. Dirty. So we'll set her here, we will. And uh, do some measurements, boys. Me? 
working right, Will. So, what you want to do first of all is measure just where the bow starts to dip, eh? So I'm going to go to that line. There I am. So we're looking at, oh boys, we'll go 24 inches, eh? Two foot, two foot pieces, boys. We need two of them. Freaking right. Two, 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 two footers, boys. Okay? Two, two footers, boys. Oh, oh, boys, boys. Oh, it's too long. What's really going on? All right. Oh, we'll need a marker. It'll mark her, boys. You watch me, and you watch this, hey? Forget. So we need two feet, boys. You can just sit there and watch my bulb spot. Why wouldn't you, hey? Why the hell wouldn't you, boys? So, two feet, three foot there, boys. So we'll zip that off. So we'll plug the old grind rooster in. I wish I had cameras. That, don't you wish you had cameras that followed you around? That'd be freaking decent. That way you'd have to move them all the time. I need one of the big long rods off my head, eh, that hold the camera. So no matter where I move, there she is, boys. Okay? But anyways, we'll zip this off here. <laughs> Easy, careful, gentle. Easy, careful, gentle. Just gonna stick it on where I am. That's why I should always clamp them down, eh? Just a weapon. So once we're done that, Give it another marky, like that. And let's try to do this without killing ourselves this time. You get an idea, boys. If I kneel on it, we might be okay, eh? All I had to do was kneel on her, boys. Much safer that way. We'll get them lined up and we'll square them off, we will. You watching this? No, not even freaking close, boys. Easy, careful! So there's those two, just about. So there's the two side rails, boys. Hey, okay? freaking right it is. So now we gotta determine the width we do. The width of the old boat ski. So, I'm trying to think how a trailer works, boys. So you wanna go, mm, you better come out to the old lines. You want clearance for the clearance, hey? So let's go nine inches apart, hey? Eh? So we'll go nine inches, boys. Nine inches. We will. Freaking right we will. We go nine inches. And so we'll make the first piece because I want tail lights on her, I do. So if I have 11, we'll go, we'll go 11 inches for the first cut. I had a bender to get her to the old sport track I did. If you're wondering why this thing's bent in half, I couldn't get her in the sport track. Just cut that right back there. Probably be much safer that way. Much better, boys. Now I can put her in the vise and watch your friggin' doodly da all over the place now, boys, hey? Watch your doodly e all over the place, boys. Why wouldn't you? What do you say? It was nine inches, so I need 10, 11 inches, boys. Girls, people, Let's see if we can't kill ourselves here. Why wouldn't I? There's one. <laughs> hey, boys. Let's make the inside measurement. We'll go eight and, eight and three quarters, boys. Eight and three quarters, we do. We need an eight and three quarter, we do. Two, maybe three. We'll go three eight and three quarters, eh? Freaking right, we will. What we do? All right, we have three of them cut, we do. So now what I need to do is put them all together. Well, you're freaking close, but that's good. Why would it be close? So we'll channel lock them together with the old trusty needle nosers that I totally just blew up somehow. All right, there we go. So now we can make all them the exact same length we do over on the old grinder rooski. One side. Next. Oh, be careful. So now that we got our three the same, let's slap them in and see how it looks, boys. This is going to be difficult, like I said right now, because I haven't got the water, boys. Oh, it's going to be so decent. This is going to be killer, boys. Okay, we're getting somewhere we are. The only thing is we gotta check. I know this is just a rough deal, but we gotta check. Make sure they're lined up properly, boys. And there we go. So now that that's good, and that's good, we can carry on with the rest of it, we can. So that will go there. Hey, there somewhere. That will go there somewhere. That will go there somewhere. So now we gotta make the V we do. The V that goes to the front of the old boat seat. So we're gonna need roughly a foot, boys. Like I said, you don't have to 
to be, you know, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You don't have to do this to make it look awesome. Yes, you do. You have to do it to make it look awesome. But at the same time, boys, there's no, you don't have to go by a plan. I'm building the first one I've ever built. So I'm just not making any sense right now at all. So we need a foot, boys. Hey, we need a foot. We do. This is going to be a long ass trailer, boys. Very good. Great. Oh, well, a long ass boat. Long ass boat means a long ass trailer, doesn't it? That's what I say. Actually, this piece is going to go up to here like that. And then we'll have to center these up. Okay, so we need a foot. Is that a foot I did? So, we'll grind that off the old foot mark there. Oh, I'm gonna dip this all up. So they knock that all over. We gotta make these square we do. So we'll put them together, like so. Like so. Just like that. Oh, sorry about that, boys. Had to release that over there, I did. Wouldn't I? Just did it. Grinder, please. Hey boys, so now that's done, I'm gonna move this thing because I'm gonna just get tired of squaring this off, I am. I don't wanna keep doing it over and over again, boys. One side of this tubing is actually a different squareness than the other side because one side stands up and one side don't, boys. Figure that out, eh? Why wouldn't you? So there's that. You're just getting a rough idea how she's gonna look here. Trailer's gonna weigh a ton, why wouldn't it? And then these will go like this, boys. So line it up to there, and this is gonna be simple. Simple work here. We're just gonna bring them in so they're touching, and then we know we're square. So now we gotta make the tongue we do. Oh, boys. Yeah, it is. If you didn't see it, I'll show you after, but it's decent. So we're gonna plug this grinder down here we are, cause I'm getting tired of knocking my project over, I am. So how long should we make the tongue, boys? Any ideas? Anybody have any ideas? I'm gonna say because it's an RC project, that it don't matter, boys. We'll just make her whatever we feel like making her. So you watch here and I'll watch here. So I'm gonna make her 17 inches, boys. We need a 17 inch piece, we do. So we put this in the base this way, we will. Balance her, boys. 17 inches, I said. Look at the swing I got on that thing, eh? That's friggin' decent. So we'll cut that off. 17 inches, we will. Won't we, babe? I think the honey pie's home. Hi, babe. How you doing? How you doing? All right, so I'm gonna zip this off 17 inches, boys. Move the coffee so we don't get stuff in it. So now we'll slide this into here, like so. All right, so there's a frame. Look at that frame, boys. Isn't that frigging gonna be decent? So there's where the lights are gonna be, frigging right. And now when we get the boat on there, we're just gonna have to put the old boat on there and then build the old lineup rods for it, hey? Okay? Because the boat's got to sit just barely touching that and we'll put some supports on it and this thing is going to be awesome. It's not going to sit that high, of course. I want it so the hull's just about touching the trailer, but these will kind of give me the idea. I got to make brackets that come up there, there, and there, boys. And one at the back, eh? Hey? I probably don't even need that many. I'm just overkilling it, I am. We're gonna make this thing solid. Freaking right we are. So anyways, here, there's basically the bottom frame, which is nothing to it, boys, eh? Anybody could build one, for Christ's sakes. So what I'm gonna do for the axles, just so you all know, is I'm gonna drill a hole through the side of here. Can you see me? And then I'm gonna weld this piece to here, like this. So that's gonna be not very wide, eh? Just barely wide enough to go through. And then I'm gonna weld two of these on here. Pivot. Suspension I am. I'm gonna use these tires. Them babies right there. Friggin' right, we're gonna make a dual wheeler. So I just gotta cut that piece about that long right there, eh? About that long. How long did I say, boys? About that long? About there. Right about there, boys. Friggin' wish I had my welder. I'm gonna have this thing together. So these will be like this, and that will be across like that. And I'll bolt them wheels to that. I'm glad I bought those freaking adapters, eh? Freak yeah, I am. And then I'll drill a hole in the center of it. And then I'll drill a hole through there and it'll be freaking awesome, boys. It'll be just like a suspension. And actually I can make her low profile. So if I weld that to that, like if I bring it up to here, it makes the tra trailer sit more lower gravity, eh? Or do I want it to clear a bunch of stuff? Comment below and you think if I should make the trailer a low profile trailer or should I make it kind of a four by four off the ground trailer, eh? Let me know what you think there and uh, yeah, go from there, eh? Freaking right. And uh, once I get the welder going, I'll weld this part together 
and then we can start fabricating the rest of it. Anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day. The video and uh, of my beginning of the Spartan RC boat trailer. Freaking right. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like where this is going. And if you don't, tell me. But if you don't, that's okay because I'm still going to do it anyways. Why wouldn't I, right? But anyways, have a good day and uh, you know what to do for now.